2016 regular season is finally here. The Miami Marlins play host to your reigning, defending World Series champion Detroit Tigers. First pitch is coming up next. Hi again, everybody. It's finally here. Welcome to our special opening day edition of Baseball on the Show. I'm joined by Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. And Steve, as we get set to get things going, it's the pitch. What's up, YouTube? Rob here, bringing you episode 42 of my Detroit Tigers franchise mode here on MLB The Show 16. And today is finally opening day of season 2, the 2016 regular season. I'm really happy to bring this back to you guys. And last video, as you guys saw, or if you did, if you didn't go check out episode 41, that was just summarizing basically the, like, the off season and what we did, checking lineups, rosters, everybody's morale, all that fun stuff. And first pitch to Rajay Davis is swung on, grounded to short. Hedgefria gets him just by eyelash, so questionable call right off the bat. So that already tells me that this is going to be one interesting season, season, not session, season for sure. As Tigers' new manager, Will Whalen, comes out and wants to challenge this play as right there, umpire calls Davis out, but I think he was safe. And, I, and Waylon definitely has a valid point. We're going to signal for the replay, and we actually are safe. So Davis gets the first hit of the season for the Tigers, as it makes sense. We're going to try and steal second base, but we're actually going to... Mid-run, we're going to turn back and get picked off. So, yeah, that did not exactly work out as planned. So, 0-1 count to Jose Iglesias. And that'll be a base hit past the third baseman, past the shortstop for a base hit. Should have just kept Davis at first, and we'd have runners at first and second. Nobody out, but again, you know, with base running, never works out as planned. As none other than Melky, or wow, Miguel Cabrera, Melky. Why am I thinking? I am having a fail at this commentary already, but I'm going to keep on going. First pitch to Miguel Cabrera is a ball, 1-0. and oh. right, Next pitch from Jose Fernandez is... Swine miss for strike one. It's a nasty sweeping curve. Fernandez has. Right, Iglesias on first, and the pitch. Another sweeping curve fouled off by Bingy. Try and push across at least one run here in this inning. And the pitch taken for a ball, two and two. I think you have to ask yourself, was he trying to Let's throw a fastball see for a what happened right next. Or was he just trying to set me up and the pitch from right. Fernandez is taken. Ooh, that was really close. That's strike three. Real Cabrera not too happy about that call. But he will return to the dugout as Ioana Cespedes is up next. We re-signed him to, I believe, it was like a three or four year deal in the offseason. We wanted to bring him back as he flies out to right to end the inning. Stan comes back into the Marlins dugout as we take a look at the Marlins starting lineup. Hillich, Hart, Stanton, that they are the top four in the lineup for the ones that are really all that terrifying, but we have our ace David Price up next as this is a fly ball to Cespedes, but he botches that somehow. And not exactly the start. Dave Price wanted on the mound. We also re-signed him to a three or four year deal as well, bringing him back as he strikes out the next batter, Corey Hart. On a couple pitches, and Mike Stanton, very dangerous Mike Stanton, I should say, is up next. We start him off with a strike. Let's go fastball up. Swing and miss strike two, so quickly ahead. of John Carlos Stanton here as we go for two seam fastball. That is fouled off behind home plate. Next pitch from Price. Same and thing. Fouled off line home plate. So chasing fastball again. And Swing and miss strike three. So that's two strikeouts already on the day for David Price. And that brings up center fielder Marcelo Ozuna. 
And the pitch. As the runner, Yelich gets to third steal start. I was not exactly expecting that. That's all right. And the next pitch is strike two. Let's go with the changeup. Swinging a strike three. Three straight strikeouts for David Price after that error. Tigers have two hits on that error. Marlins, no hits yet. Castellanos is up top of the second, and he grounds that. Jonathan Solano at second. For one pitch out. Ian Kinsler so is up next. I believe he gets out too, but I think. One yeah, no, he strikes out here. Throw on to first. Alright, that brings Aaron up Judge rookie right fielder and Montana starting right Thomas fielder Aaron Judge. And you guys remember back to one of the first episodes of season one, we traded for him from the New York Yankees, along with a couple other prospects who we will see at some point this season. So he fouls off the first pitch. Second pitch is going to miss strike two. Judge already in a hole here with two outs. And that'll be grounded to first. Corey Hart is there. Judge does not have a successful first at bat here in the majors. But we'll move ahead to Peter O'Brien as he crushes that deep left field. That's gone. That's he knew from the second he made contact, that was gone. So, solo shot here to give the Tigers one nothing lead by Peter O'Brien, showing off that monster power that he has, and he's in the eight spot too. So, power at the bottom of the lineup, not a bad thing. Even though he's not a fan of hitting in that spot, as I was looking at the morale prior to the start of this game, but everyone in the bottom third of the lineup is not happy with their spot. But if they continue to perform well, then that should change, I hope. So we have a 1-0 lead. David Price is up next as he grounds that to second. Solano there, no big deal. But the Tigers do get one run in this inning so far. Davis up next. He got an infield single off that controversial call. And then tried to steal second but got out. And he gets a second hit of the day. So he singles to center field. Here's a case on the mound where he's trying to sneak a first pitch fastball. Up to this point and right before the home run, it's been a pitcher's duel from Fernandez and Price. Glacius is up next. And there goes Davis. And that'll be hit down the third baseline. That will be fair. Davis will score easily all the way from first. That will be an RBI double for Jose Glacius. Tigers take a 2-0 lead here in the third. Pitching coach out to calm Fernandez down as Cabrera is up next. He struck out looking in his first at bat. That is fouled off. 0 oh 1. And next pitch from Fernandez. Is Luke down the first base line, but that goes foul, and no one gets to it in time, so. 0 oh 2 to Cabrera now. See, swing miss. Cabrera strikes out again. Not the start he was looking for to begin the season. And that will pretty much be the end of that inning. So move ahead to the bottom of the fourth. Corey Hart up next. David Price's first pitch is hit foul, but hit very far. 0-1-1. Swing and miss. No, swing and fouled off. Strike two. Throw another two. Seamer low and away. That's hit down the first baseline. Foul. Nice catch by the ball boy. Change up. Same spot. Grounded to third. Castellanos grabs it. Throw on to first. One out here in the inning. John Carlos Stanton up next. He struck out in his first at bat. Change up for strike one. Two seam fastball low and away. Swing by strike two. Really going to try to avoid throwing anything up. 
aside from this. Swing and a miss, strike three. That's another strikeout for David Price. I believe this was his fifth or sixth strikeout, I think. Or I lost track, but continues to do that throughout the rest of the game. Marcelo Zuna is up next. Two outs. Price falls behind one and oh. Next pitch. Swing and a strike one. See, next pitch. Strike two, same result. And that's strike three. So another strikeout for David Price as he's actually not given up a hit to the Marlins at all so far. And he will start off at the top of the fifth. First pitch by Fernandez is swung and a miss, strike one, 98, 98 mile an hour fastball. Up and in. That'll be a base hit right up the middle, so David Price helping his own cause here. As he leads off the inning with a single. There we go. Davis up next, he's two for two with two singles and a run scored so far. See if he could hit, get hit number three. Davis. Takes the first pitch fastball away for a 1 0 count. Next pitch, 2 1 0. See what he has up his sleeve now. That'll be a base hit. Into shallow right field, Sand picks it up quickly, but we have runners on first and second. With only, with no outs. Glacius up next, he's two for two. 37 pitches on the day so far for Fernandez. As his next pitch, or first pitch to Iglesias is really far inside, nearly hits him. Yep, and that will be hit too deep right field. Stanton is under it. Everyone will stay put. Go. Miguel Cabrera up next. He's over two with two strikeouts. See if he could redeem himself a little bit here by driving in at least one run. And the pitch from Fernandez is hit down the first baseline. Price rounds third. He will score easily. Davis will get to third and that will be an RBI single for Miguel Cabrera. Tigers take a 3-0 lead as we move ahead now to the top of six. Kinsler leads off. That is hit to center field. Ozuna back. It's over his head. Kinsler rounds first. Gets to seconds. He's on his horse. He rounds second. Heads to third and that will be a leadoff triple for Ian Kinsler. The second extra base hit on the day so far and that will be the end of the day for Jose Fernandez as Brian Morris is brought in next to face Aaron Judge that's a ground ball to short runner will score from third easily and that will be an infield single for Aaron Judge and I believe that will be his first major league hit here as it said on the screen by skipped it by accident the first major league hit for the power hitting right fielder is an infield single, kind of backwards there, but it's okay. You see the replay of O'Brien's home run as the Tigers have a 4 nothing lead, one, one on, one out. Let's see what O'Brien can do now. Takes the first pitch from Morris for a close strike on the fastball up in the zone. And then actually getting that first hit. Here's one that misses high. It's not going to swing at that. Yeah, that's a good spot to miss against a guy like this. Judge has 71 speed. Let's try and steal this with him, I think. We're going to hit that to right field instead. Stanton is under it. Judge will retreat back to first. Yeah, nothing will really come of the rest of this inning. As we move ahead to the bottom of the ninth, Tigers still up 4 0. Albert Kirkian as he strikes out Michael Morris. Christian Yelich is up next. Christian Yelich will stand in, needing to do something here to get on base. As they're First pitch their fastball misses inside, 1 0. Swing miss on the nasty slider, 1 1. And the pitch that's gone. Yep, that will be a solo home run for Christian Yelich here in the bottom of the ninth. 
Marlins are finally on the board. This is their only, their second hit. As Price lost a no-hit bid in the eighth inning from a single, or by a single from Hector Santiago, or Hector Sanchez, Marlins catcher. That'll be a 4-1. Tigers lead here. One out. They've been really awesome to get a no-hitter with David Price on opening day, but weren't so lucky, but we still will end up most likely barring it. That we should be okay. That is hit to center field. Davis is under it, so that's the second out. Here in the ninth, Tigers one out away now. I'm winning on opening day, and they have to face Mike Stanton, so we're not out of the woods quite yet as Albuquerque starts him off with the two-seam fastball low and away for strike one. Let's go with the slider. Swing and miss, strike two. Marlins down to their final strike. Swing and miss strike, we called Albuquerque. Shuts the door, strikes out Stanton, and your Detroit Tigers have won opening day of season two in the 2016 season. Everybody celebrating. It's a great overall performance by pretty much everybody. David Price is hands down player of the game. 15 strikeouts on one hit through eight innings. So on that note, I am going to end the commentary. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you all in the next video. You see right here, David Price, picture perfect there. He's our tops player of the game. And you have to feel good for that guy right there. The games finally count and he comes out.